Now to a story we have followed for two months. Recycling problems brought frustrations for many residents in Hampton Roads over the last couple of weeks. And many people in Chesapeake and Virginia Beach say their recycling bins have sat on the curb for days. Casey Baylor talked with the TFC recycling president on how they're addressing this delay. TFC Recycling President Michael Benedetto says multiple cities his company services is dealing with pickup delays, but he says it's the city of Chesapeake seeing the biggest impact. So in Chesapeake, we typically run about 10 routes a day with 10 drivers and we're less than that. As blue recycling bins sit by curbs across Hampton Roads, Benedetto says crews are working hard to combat the nationwide driver shortage. He says many Chesapeake drivers are leaving the job ahead of the city's recycling program set to end later this month. Despite our efforts to the contrary to try and retain them through the end of the contract, have left us to seek employment elsewhere, knowing that they may not have a position with the company after July 1st. But the lack of drivers isn't the only issue. Benedetto says supply chain shortages are delaying new vehicles and parts to maintain equipment. We've tried to secure additional rental vehicles and reached out to every company we know of nationwide and they have given us rental vehicles to the point that they don't have rental vehicles anymore. Still, the company remains behind schedule in emptying blue bins, but Benedetto says they won't leave any bins full when the city program ends. But we are willing to perform on this contract, even if it means extending into July for collections. Although he has no timeline on when things could get back to normal, he's hopeful his team can better serve Hampton Roads in the coming months. Those drivers that are in Chesapeake will be allocated to other cities. Trucks will also be allocated. So our service is going to get much more efficient in other cities when this contract in Chesapeake ends. In Chesapeake, I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. TFC recycling leaders also want to offer Chesapeake residents a subscription service once the city's recycling program ends. That service will cost about twice the amount the city is already paying for the service.